Okay, hey nerds, I apologize, it's very late, so if I sound a bit tired, uh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to work with it. A new summoning banner came out, and I figured this was also a good excuse to talk about something I've kind of ta uh, talked about jokingly before, but, uh, we'll get into that in a second, because I've seen a lot of you guys going on about, well, summoning, and, you know, certain summonings, especially since seasonal banners are now coming and we have new ones, that are kind of, you know, where, where exactly are we going to get the rest of the Easter banners, etc, etc, etc. So, first though, we do have to talk about the new focus that of course is Weapons to Refine, which features all the new characters that, uh, well not new characters, all the characters that receive new weapons and refinements. Um, namely Soren, Erika, and Leo. So, I'm just going to say, flat out, Leo is the only 5 star unit that is 5 star exclusive in this banner, so if you're going to go for him, uh, be aware of that. Brynhild, uh, or Brynhilder, whichever you prefer. Uh, basically, when he upgrade this, it changes from that gravity effect to having, you know, something very similar to how he worked in Fates, where if he's up against a magic foe, it reduces the damage from foe's first attack by 30%, which is actually pretty decent. And if you happen to upgrade it even further, it uh, will stop bows, daggers, magic, and staff units as long as their defense is, uh, as long as Leo's defense is, uh, you know, greater than the other foe's defense. It'll stop follow-up attacks, things like that. Erika's is a massive thing that I don't even want to try to explain. The basic thing is, if you buff her or buff units around them, she'll uh, around her, uh, she'll receive <laughs> she'll receive in in combat buffs that will basically be equivalent to what you've given to your other allies. It's a pretty nice uh, effect. It, it's really up to you if you want to use it. And then of course, Soren got Wind's Brand, which is just basically a chill attack. Which, you know, sure, that's a nice one. Uh, you also get a, an additional effect when you upgrade it as well, but uh, that's his new weapon that everyone's going crazy over. It's actually a really nice one to have, too. All in all, it's a decent banner. But I'm going to say if you really want to aim for something great, I would probably say aim for reds. Leo is, you know, the only five-star exclusive there, and it's always nice to get. So let's try and see what we can get from this little... Uh, little pool here. I'm gonna roll on reds because that's probably the one that I really feel like <laughs> would probably be the best results. And it was it got me a whole uh, drug. Okay, well, that's a fun one, I guess. Anyways, well, that was about what I figured was going to happen. Not too bad. I'm not going to... Oh. Well, you know what? We'll send home a unit real quick. Uh, we'll send out Masera. I'm full up on that one. I'll come back to that a bit later. Yeah, that's what happens when you go through Tempest Trials and all this other nonsense. But right now, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to, uh, try our best to try and explain something that I, I feel is going to happen. I'm a bit of a betting man when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I'm thinking that this is going to happen. So we have a new Easter event, but a lot of you are probably wondering where exactly the last year's Easter event came, well, where their units are going to be. So, I'm just going to say, you know, say this again, state it one more time, and I have, I have an idea of what's going to happen, mostly because if I can, you know, we're, we're going to go down here a bit, because this is the month of Bound Hero Battles, which honestly, not the best month when it comes to actual content, I, I mean, I don't mind Bound Hero Battles, but, uh, that that one was kind of that one <laughs> that one uh, went really quickly, and we're gonna be having a bunch more of them. But uh, still, let's uh, let's just talk about this real quick, okay? So we have the special heroes banner coming up, that will be lasting until the Ap you know the twenty second of April, which is actually pretty substantial. So that is our new bunny units, of course. But there's a few things that I really want to discuss, okay? A lot of you are worried that you won't be able to get the, you know, the bunny banners again or the other characters from that, but I have a sneaking suspicion. This is something that I feel is probably going to happen. <laughs> so right now we're right around here, um, right? We're at the 21st, the summoning focus for weapons to refine. Tomorrow we're going to be getting the bunnies, which are is cool. Something that I'm really looking forward to. I hope the bunnies will be exciting and a lot of you will get what you want. Um, from there, though, we really don't have much outside of Legendary Heroes, and then, of course, the heroes with, uh, you know, with Miracle, which is actually looking up to be pretty fascinating for a banner. And the summoning event, of course, for Legendary Heroes, we should get a new one as well. 
and all signs are kind of pointing towards a colorless dragon. Here's hoping. Still, nonetheless, let's just, let's take a second and look at something that's kind of obvious. Okay? I have a sinking suspicion that those who are wor worried about your, <laughs> well, your, um, your, your, uh, bunnies in any sort of fashion, I have a feeling that you might be getting them again. You know, the, the original ones, Camilla, Crom, I believe Xander was there too, uh, <laughs> He was in a pimp outfit, I don't know why. But simply put, the reason why I'm saying this is because every voting gauntlet has a banner. And I have a very, very good, at least, inkling, a feeling, and I'm hoping that this is right. And I, I do apologize if it isn't. But uh, they never show the voting gauntlet banner on the timeline. I actually went back and looked after several of you pointed that out when I made an off mention to this. But uh, they never put the actual summoning banner for the voting gauntlet in the timeline itself. I guess it's just kind of assumed at this point. So basically, what I think is going to happen is that the next voting gauntlet is going to be past seasonal characters versus current seasonal characters, which of course will feature, you know, our seasonal special bunnies, Alphonse, you know, Sharina and all them, versus last year's, you know, with Camilla and everyone. And I'm having, I have a feeling that this is going to happen and that, on the, you'll notice that on the 31st, the voting gauntlet happens. Oh, jeez, I don't want you opening that. Please don't open that. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> but as you can see, the voting gauntlet is going to be starting, at least for the login bonus, will be starting around the 31st. That is when we'll probably know what exactly is going to be going down. But, again... I have a very good suspicion, at least, that since technically Easter will be starting around some time, you know, on the 1st of April, at least from what I've looked at, <laughs> which is uh, kind of kind of a joke on its own, right? Right? I mean, it's going to be on a Sunday. It's going to be on April 1st, which uh, awkward, but uh, still nonetheless, um, I have a feeling that th that next voting gauntlet may, in fact, feature the last seasonal event characters. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I just kind of do. I just, that's what my hypothesis is. That way, it seems like it might be a good idea because that way, you can bring back the banner without having to do legendaries. And let's just be clear here, the last legendary banners, it did, I, I think they skipped over one or two of the, I, I could be wrong. Someone's going to have to uh, clarify on that one, but I, now that I think about it, they probably have gone through all of the Easter characters. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they'll bring back the previous Easter characters, but they could very well just put them back where they came from and just bring them out in a legendary banner. But the simple fact is, as time goes along and we get more of these special characters, the, the chances of getting those previous events are, are going to be a lot less, because now more than ever, we're going to be moving on from one character to another, to another, to another, and then my capture card gives out. But I'm still wondering. I'm still thinking about it, and I'm still hoping that that's what's going to happen. I'm sorry if this is rambling and utter nonsense, but at least they fixed a lot of the problems that are still going on here. Uh, I, the, they still had, uh, you know, the previous event schedule where they removed, you know, the, 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 the maps from before and then kind of didn't bother to push them over to the correct dates when, when they aligned them, so either way, that's my hypothesis. I don't know if you guys are thinking that, you know, might be a thing, but I'm hoping it is. That's my hope, because I don't think they would just ignore the fact that we had previous seasonal banners. I think that they'll probably bring them back in some form or fashion to at least get them, because I know a lot of you really want certain characters from those banners, even if you can't, you know, get them right now. And I hate to say it, but rolling on legendary banners are not fun when it's, uh... When, it, when it's when that's that one character you want. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have already felt the pain rolling on them, but uh, that's my hypothesis. Voting gauntlet, voting gauntlet, voting gauntlet. I know that probably doesn't sound like much, but uh, that's just that's just what I'm hoping for. Do tell me in the comments if you think that might be possible. If not, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. It's 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 12 at night. I'm going to bed. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching so much, nerds. And as always, I wish you the best of luck. Go do your Tempest Trials, get your things done. I'm going to probably go to bed, wake up, do some Tempest Trials, 
and then probably try and figure out what I'm going to be talking about next as, you know, the data mines drop. Things like that. <laughs> so I'll see you all later, nerds. Thanks for watching, and sorry for the rambling.